Air Force One, a symbol of American power, prestige, and presidential authority. But how did it come to be? Join us as we take a journey through the fascinating history of Air Force One. Our story begins in the early 20th century. The first U.S. president to fly while in office was Franklin D. Roosevelt. In January 1943, during World War II, he flew to Morocco aboard a Boeing 314 Clipper, a long-range flying boat operated by Pan American World Airways. In 1953, President Dwight D. Eisenhower was flying aboard a Lockheed Constellation designated as Columbine II. During one flight, air traffic controllers became confused because an Eastern Airlines commercial flight had the same call sign. To prevent future confusion, the unique call sign Air Force One was established for any aircraft carrying the U.S. president. By the early 1960s, technological advancements led to the development of a new presidential aircraft. Enter the Boeing 707, which served presidents from John F. Kennedy to Richard Nixon. The most famous of these was SAM 26000, a Boeing VC-137C. John F. Kennedy was the first president to use this aircraft, and it became an iconic symbol of his presidency. It was on this plane that Lyndon B. Johnson took the oath of office after Kennedy's assassination in 1963. As air travel technology continued to evolve, so did Air Force One. In 1990, the fleet upgraded to two Boeing 747-200B series aircraft, designated VC-25A. These planes have served presidents from George H.W. Bush to Joe Biden. The VC-25A aircraft are equipped with advanced communication systems, defensive measures, and are capable of in-flight refueling, allowing them to stay airborne indefinitely if necessary. Beyond the technology, these aircraft are customized with offices, conference rooms, and living quarters to accommodate the president and their staff, ensuring the continuity of government operations while in the air. In 2018, plans were announced to replace the aging VC-25As with two new Boeing 747, eight aircraft designated VC-25B. These new planes promise even more advanced features and enhanced security measures, ensuring that Air Force One remains at the cutting edge of presidential transport. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the history of Air Force One. Stay tuned for more fascinating stories from history. Until next time, safe travels.